um, I try to capture the moment when the cat is alert, I try yes. to, to, to escape from a, a, a attacker or something, right? Um, when I walk, my dog always meets this kind of white cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we start from the, um, you can trace this, because I did the life size one, so you can put it underneath it. The, the, the best part of this uh, kind of, you know, rice paper can do that. Uh, you, can, you can see through, right? All the rice paper is semi-translucent. Translucent. Yeah. So you can, you can just copy that. I have a charcoal somewhere. Or I can just do a light ink sketch. Yes. Yeah, you can, you can just use the ink. Because it doesn't matter, I just stand it, right? So, yeah, so you, you just, just make some control points, you know, sometimes uh, just dot the points. You know, you can just do it. And as you ask it, if I put some paper underneath, does it, it doesn't matter if I um, do not apply lots of ink. Offline part is fine. So you can put your sketch underneath as a tradition, especially gongbi, the elaborated style, they always, always do that. But they can also trace it with pencil and, or charcoal. To make the eye, it's like a almond shape. Little. The so your brush is drier? Yeah, it's kind of dry. And uh, the pupil, um, I like this. Very thin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the nose should be shorter than this, I guess. Right? Most cats is shorter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you so want that? Some of them have big noses. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. That still yeah. looks good to me. Okay. I thought it looked good. Okay. So you want to do the? We can do the red nose, or just uh, do the black one. Mm -hmm. Black one. Okay. So. Yeah, you, you don't need to do the little things. I just use you know, one stroke, and then suggested you don't have to do the, all the detail. And uh, um, you can make the cat smile, and just curve a little higher. But, uh, I try to, to show the kind of like a... Like a Halloween cat. Yeah, Halloween, yeah. Halloween <laughs> cat. <laughs> Spooky <laughs> sound. <laughs> Suggestively, then I I will um, I will move the remove the papers. I'm going to wash with larger brush. Now I need a little more ink and uh, um, with bigger brush, the bigger the better. And when you do the big brush, you need to be more careful um, when you you know, have more control. You need to control. Actually, very precisely. So I have you, 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 when you read this uh, handout, you, you need to see how many strokes. Um, so one on top, that's the forehead. One, right? Sometimes uh, you have to adjust. If it's one is enough, you don't need to do the second. And, uh, a little bit. I have a bigger stroke on on the forehead on the handout, but uh, since I did the big one on the on the Top of the head, so just the little one. And, uh, you can, you can do, uh, just leave a little room between the eye and the, the wash, so you will not breathe inside. But sometimes I like to be a little bit more inside the circle, but not lose control on that. You need to save the white. Do not use white color at this point. So I need to be very careful around the eye. You can use drier brush, maybe small brush, maybe. maybe. Okay. You can use small brush to draw the line. So let me just do the major part in large uh, brush first. To so the neck, and stand. Back, one stroke. Mm. Okay, and uh, you can just use the rest of the color to the shoulder. And 
to uh, this is just preparation for the next. I, I want to exhaust this this uh, brush before I load more ink, and also make this part wet, so it will create the furry effect. The next one, I do not use the same uh, value. I want to use darker value. A little bit more. So I'll give you more ink this time to do the black hat. So I have a dark ink. I need to save some white in the, in the dark, so not lose all the white. Mm -hmm. okay. in the tail. Yeah, I think this. Uh, mm, looks like a calico. Yeah. A calico? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can add color. Yeah. We can squeeze up to the face. Yeah, I, I like calico cat. I think it's subconscious that I always do the calico cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We want to dark it. You can see it. You can see the different colors in it. Okay, I just use the. Uh, um, it's a black white cat, I guess. So now you use uh, light ink to do the white part. Just if you want to keep it uh, skinny, you, you just outline it. Not use the little feather line. Uh, just maybe a little shorter, short hair. Uh, keep it short, skinny cut. Okay, skin. Skin. Okay, now the the uh, brush I need is the red whisker brush. Ah. This is my favorite brush. Yeah. Um, it's a new one. Uh, you can see it's made of a red whisker, very sharp. And this, my uh, friend uh, Bill Buckman bought uh, a bunch of them. He, he made the, he just told me uh, the day before yesterday, he made lots of master pieces with this brush. Ah. Yeah, we made friends because of this brush. Uh -huh. French, okay. yeah, this, he, yeah, he loved this brush and then we learned how. It really yeah. is red whiskers. Red whiskers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that takes a lot of rats. Oh, there are a lot of rats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are. Yeah. Okay. Um, dry whiskers. Is, it's very easy to make this kind of line. Oh my God. You want to try this? Yeah. This brush. Make this part so easy. You didn't have wow. to soak it to open it and all. Oh, I did. You I, did. I soak it. Yeah. Hardly at all. Oh, you don't need to really soak it for there 20 is minutes. Much, yeah, yeah, five minutes even yeah. because it's less so Less than thin. one minute. Yeah. yeah. So you can make really fine lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do the fine lines yeah, with this. Nice. And uh, also on the... You can use some uh, white. Um, a little bit of wa uh, wash on the, in the eye shadow, maybe later. This part. And wash it. And use a soft brush. Now I'm going to wash the, the eye with blue because it's Halloween. But I usually do the yellow, lemon yellow. And the remember, uh, someone remember I did on the back, right? Mm -hmm. This this because this color is opaque water color. I want to do it on the back, so it won't cover the pupil. Oh. Uh, That's an interesting technique. Color. And make it also very subtle. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you can you can add a highlight with the white on the front. Uh -huh. so it's already good. I already leave some white there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just 
later to mm -hmm. yeah. Very um, nice. You can also draw some of the light, like a pink and purple in your ear. Mm -hmm. Very subtle. It's a little bit. Mm -hmm. and to good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's spooky. No. Too cute. He's too <laughs> cute. <laughs> so what I can do, make it spooky. <laughs> no, make it a skinny cat. Skinny. Skinny, skinny cat with a heart-shaped face. <laughs> Tried. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. Hardly any hair. So I, I will look for... So you, uh, because the requirement is spooky, so you can make any ugly. Look, uh, <laughs> so feel free to try. Um, I would look forward to, to seeing your spooky hat. This is just an inspiration for your. All right.